Tens of thousands of pro-democracy demonstrators in Hong Kong gathered together for a New Year's Day protest Wednesday. Hong Kong officials originally authorized the rally to take place, but after some protesters clashed with police, that permission was quickly withdrawn. At least five protesters were arrested for carrying weapons, including hammers and batons. Police said they fired tear gas after some, quote, thugs set fires, damaged storefronts, and threw bricks and petrol bombs. But the rally's organizers denied that report, saying the police were just trying to separate Hong Kongers. Demonstrations have been ongoing for over six months now. They were sparked by a controversial extradition bill, which was eventually scrapped. But after that, demonstrators pushed for other demands, including universal suffrage, an independent inquiry into police conduct, amnesty for protesters who have been arrested, and an end to characterizing demonstrations as riots. Dozens of lawmakers and dignitaries from 18 countries urged Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam to address the grievances of the Hong Kong people in an open letter sent Tuesday. Hong Kong's government dismissed the letter as biased and misleading. It said Wednesday that its first priority is to stop violence and restore social order as soon as possible.